Hey Internet, I'm Mike Bryce and welcome back to more of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 200 CC playthrough. Today we are going to the final DLC Cup until tomorrow, the Bell Cup, and I'm going to be using Inkling Boy today, but not just any Inkling Boy, I am using the turquoise hair Inkling Boy, because why not? So as for the cart combination today, we are going with the Blue Falcon, Leaf Tires, and Hylian Kite. Here are the stats for those of you that are interested. The reason I'm going with this cart combination is because since we're using the Inkling Boy, who's kind of like a guest character, I thought I would use the non-Mario character themed cart pieces. So we got the Blue Falcon from F-Zero, the Leaf Tires from Animal Crossing, and the Hylian Kite from The Legend of Zelda. And of course, the Inkling Boy from Splatoon is driving this combination. So it's just a huge, um, I guess, guest character themed episode today. I don't know. But here we go. Also, y'all, the game updated right before I started filming this episode. Oh my god! I am so excited for this! Doesn't this just look awesome? I just want to... Of course, these are all blocked off. We don't know what courses they're going to give us, but ah, oh, this is just so amazing to see. I wish I could play it, but no, we cannot. For those of you wondering, we can't play it until tomorrow. But look at this. This just looks so awesome, just looking at these icons. But that's not the purpose of today's episode. Sorry, sorry. We are going to the Bell Cup where we have 3DS Neo Bowser City, GBA Ribbon Road, Super Bell Subway, and Big Blue. So let's just get right on into it. All right, so the first track we got here is Neo Bowser City from Mario Kart 7. This course was pretty good in Mario Kart 7. I feel like it was kind of misplaced in that game. Um, I think it's just the name, like Neo Bowser. Like why does Bowser have Neo Bowser City and Bowser's Castle? It's kind of weird. I don't know why they just didn't name it like Neo Koopa City, which I think is the name of the course in the Japanese version. But then Bowser's name in the Japanese version is Koopa. So it's still like the same thing, right? But oh well, it is what it is. I think it's supposed to be a reference to Mario and Luigi Dream Team. That's the vibe that I get because there was like a Neo Bowser castle in that game, which I have not played that game, well, pretty much since it came out. I've always like wanted to go back to it, but then I'm like, ugh, then I gotta like charge my 3DS because it's always dead. And then I'm like, no, if it was on the Switch, I would play that game again. I've only played through that game once and I beat it. And then I never played it again, but it was a good game. My only complaint, I would say, is like the intro of the game is kind of just too long. <laughs> too many tutorials. It's like, we get it. We get it, game. But let's not talk about that because that's a totally different game in a series that is now dead. Which is also really sad. But that's another topic for another time. Something I really love about this course is that it's raining. You don't see too many Mario Kart courses like that. The only other one we've gotten, I believe, is Luigi Circuit from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Which, I don't know, I, I almost have a strange feeling that that track is going to return in the Booster Course Pass. Somewhere in there. I know in my prediction video I didn't predict that course, but I don't know. I just feel like it's going to return. Also, I don't like those blue shells on the last lap! They're lame. Also, of course, Inkling Boy's rival is Inkling Girl. And then Inkling Girl's rival is Inkling Boy! Come on! Thank you! That was a little too close for comfort, I must say. Ooh, look at Wendy up there in the top three. You go, Wendy. You go, girl. Who else we got? We got Roy, Yoshi, Cat, Peach, Baby Daisy, Isabel, Larry, Rosalina, Bowser Jr., and Donkey Kong. Something I will say is that we've also seen a lot of Baby Daisy in these cups. I don't know what that's all about. I feel like we've seen a lot of Donkey Kong too. And he always does poorly. He's currently in last place right now, but maybe he'll pick it up in the future. I don't know. Let's move on to Ribbon Road. All right, so here we have Ribbon Road from Mario Kart Super Circuit. 
This is another one of those retro tracks that is totally unrecognizable, but in a very good way. This track was very solid in Super Circuit, and it's just even more incredible in this game with the aesthetic they went for. You know, now that they don't have the hardware limitations that the Game Boy Advance had, they could make this track just totally look like a child's playroom, which I wasn't sure if that was the vibe they were going for in the GBA version. I didn't really know the vibe they were going for. Maybe Nintendo didn't really know the vibe, but I love the fact that it's like we're all shrunken down, racing in a child's playroom, and all the references around the track, the Yarn Yoshis, the uh, different carts on the side there, the Bitty Buggy, the toy castles, the, you know, toad wrapping paper gifts. It's just so freaking amazing. These Koopa Clown Car jack-in-the-boxes, so freaking amazing! I could just go on and on. There's those toads on the side there that are from uh, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, I believe. It's actually a series of games I've never played before. It's one of the few Mario series that I've never played. I don't think I've played any of the games in this series before anyways! I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. That's the way it goes sometimes, but... Yeah, I really love this track. I think now it's supposed to be like the babies course. One of the- even though they have Baby Park, this is also supposed to be like a track for the babies. Because there's a lot of uh, like Baby Mario, Baby Rosalina references around the track. I guess there's also a Bowser reference there, which is kind of cool. I'm trying to look in the background for more references. But I'm also like, I should just focus on racing! Let's not be dumb here. I am trying to get perfect in this cup. Which looks like I might get that. Maybe I shouldn't open my big fat mouth too soon. But there we go! Thank you very much. I kind of dominated that. I don't know what I was so worried about. But uh, England Girl really dropping down positions there. Currently in a three-way tied for third. Roy Koopa moving on up to second. And Donkey Kong remaining in last place. It's not looking good for him. Anyways, let's move on to Super Bell Subway. All right, here is Super Bell Subway. Oh my god, something I never noticed. Look at that Mario Bros mural on the side of the wall there. I never noticed the graffiti in the... in the tunnels before. What? I swear the details in this game. You're always finding something new. Also, I never noticed Yoshi Valley and Music Park there being advertised. Oh my gosh. How come I've like never noticed this stuff before? So I guess from Super Bell Subway, you can take a, uh, a subway to Music Park and Yoshi Valley. Interesting. It'd be kind of cool if there were like subway tracks or something on those, on those tracks, but there are not. But oh well. That's just a really cool nod there, so... I guess this is another way that the characters get to the other tracks. Kind of like Sunshine Airport. Freaking love it. But I really love this track. So freaking good. Originally, I, like, I couldn't really relate to it. Because I'd never... Like, I was so, like, sheltered and, and didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> and I lived in a town that didn't have, like, a subway system. But then, after this game came out, I moved to Toronto. And they obviously have a subway system there. And I'm just like... I was, like, in awe. I, got, I swear. I only lived in Toronto for about eight months when I went to school. And I was, like, always just in awe of the big city. Like, things like... Because I wasn't used to it. I never really visited Toronto much, even though I lived only an hour away growing up. I just never visited um, until I went to school and fell in love with it. And I'm like, I want to stay living here. But then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's too expensive. Also, that was really stupid of me. I blame the blooper for that. And I'm probably not going to come first now. Maybe not even second. Which sucks! Which sucks! Nutty, no! No! Fifth place! That was awful. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I was too busy talking about Toronto. Which, by the way, has anybody seen Turning Red yet? Oh my god, I love getting representation for Canada. But I swear, like, they kind of went a little overboard with, like, every scene they have to mention it's in Toronto. Like, there should be a drinking game. How many times they say drinking, or how many times they say Toronto and drinking? Uh, why can't I talk? Take a drink every time they say Toronto and turning red. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's move on to the final track. Oh my God, I can't speak. All right, here we have Big Blue. Of course, the second F-Zero track that we got in Mario Kart 8. I think it's pretty cool that they added two F-Zero tracks. And this is definitely the better F-Zero track. Not that Mute City's bad, but this track is just amazing. It's actually a lot of people's favorite track in, you know, all of Mario Kart. Not only Mario Kart 8, but just Mario Kart in general. That's how amazing this track is. And this is definitely in my top three as well. I must say. Also, that red shell took like 86 years to hit me. That was stupid. Anyways, the, oh, come on. The pressure's kind of on here because I do have to beat Roy. Like, no matter what. And of course, he's in first place right now. But yeah, this is another section track. Which, of course, those are some of my favorite tracks, I must say. Also, shortcut you can do here in 200cc without a mushroom. I don't see a lot of people doing that shortcut. I don't know why. Maybe they do, but like I never really see it. Even like when I play online or anything. Maybe I just always get matched up with new people who don't know about that, but... I honestly don't see a lot of people using that shortcut on 200cc. Because it's like you don't even need a mushroom to do it. So do it, because it will definitely save you time. Okay. Oh, this is so stressful! Okay, I think I should be good. Also, what is this Inkling's name? I meant to discuss that. We should give this Inkling a name. I was thinking Bernard. I think that's a good name for this Inkling. So good job, Bernard. We came first. Huh. That was kind of a stressful last race, just because of my poor playing on Super Bell Subway. But we did it, we came first. Let's give a huge uh, GG to Bernard. Freaking awesome. Anyways, let's move on to the results. All right, so apparently uh, Neo Bowser City was the most interesting track. Let's see what happened here. That was a pretty awesome hit there. Of, Inkling girl. Also, these are really like bad shots. I must say, they, they, the camera was just, I, I don't know what was going on there. Anyways, three first place, one fifth place. Let's, let's not talk about that fifth place. I think that's currently my worst performance on 200cc is that fifth place. No, Rainbow Road. I did, I did worse on Rainbow Road in the Special Cup. Anyways, there we go. We didn't even get any ranking, but we came first. That's the main thing. Donkey Kong, once again, our daily loser. This is either time number two or three. I know it's definitely not his first, because we made fun of his stupid hair that looked like crap. Anyways, make fun of Donkey Kong in the comments, because he deserves it, because he pay played very poorly. So, sucks to suck, Donkey Kong. Or as I call him, Donkey Thong, because that's, you know, funny. Anyways, y'all, next time, aka tomorrow, we will be taking on the Golden Mushroom Cup, the first of the Booster Course Pass. I am so freaking excited! Ah! As for the character I'm going to be using tomorrow, well, you're just, you're just going to have to wait and find out. Anyways, this has been Mike Bryce. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow when we start with the DLC. The real DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, everyone.